Hello, happy Wednesday, everyone. Um, I am going live today and interviewing Lexis. Oh, there we go. Gotta make sure people can actually join the live. Um, she is a local photographer and we met at a recent networking event. And also, usually I do this on my computer inside, but it's so nice out. So I was like, hey, why not do this outside? I wish I was a, a little bit more of a sunny area. Eh. Okay, I think that will work. Um, anyways, while we're waiting for her to pop on, uh, oh, okay. While we're waiting for her to pop on, I want to talk about an event that I had last night at the office. It was called Five Steps to Better Health. And there are seven categories that I count as having really good health and a balanced lifestyle. And I was educating on my five rules that I try to live by in order to live a really balanced and healthy Oh, here we are. Okay, so lots of technical difficulties today. Um, so anyways, with the five steps to better health, it's a workshop, five rules that I try to live by to live a balanced lifestyle. Uh, and I'm just trying to get Lexus on here. And I will just share with you, let's see, rule number two. Actually, no, it's rule number three. So rule number three, you want to drink a lot of water. I, that's pretty much common sense, but a lot of us don't drink enough water. So um, obviously drink at least half of your body weight in ounces a day, and you, you should be hydrated by doing that. And also, um, if you're already dehydrated, if you're thirsty, you are already dehydrated. So keep that in mind. And I know we like to drink a lot of like coffee and LaCroix and flavored waters and all that good stuff and Mio. Um, just a second here. And then, okay, here we go. Stop listening to me chit chat about my, oh, stop chit chatting about my webinar. Oh, hi. There we go. Hi. <laughs> there we go. Um, I know, I was just wasting time talking about my workshop that I had last night. <laughs> oh, no problem. Yeah, I was trying to get it to work. I was like, oh, no, I've never done this before. Yeah. Um, do you have your turn phone phone turned, like, this way? I have it vertical. Okay. Should I turn okay. it sideways? I think horizontal. Yeah. Okay. That should work. Oh, I guess maybe vertical. Okay. I don't know. We'll see how this shows up on okay. Facebook. Okay. <laughs> So many technical difficulties today. That's okay. On my. <laughs> All right. So, oh, where'd you go? Oh, hello. Add, add. There we go. Said you were okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just telling everyone that we met at a networking event. I don't know, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I think it was. Uh... Yeah, I think it was like the beginning of March. Yeah. Um, and you are a photographer. So the title of this video is that if you need a photographer, Lexus is your girl. Yep. So, <laughs> <that's me. laughs> um, so yeah, let's just dive right in. Okay. I just want you to um, just tell everyone about you and like how you got started in photography. So, well, my name is Lexis, and I own Marquee Photography. Um, I have been a professional photographer for 10 years now, about 10 years. And um, I started off just kind of photographing families and, like, friends of my mom's. And then it kind of turned into this huge thing. And so as long as I can remember, I was involved in it in some way. And then when I turned 16, I photographed my first wedding. And that was just what kind of set off everything is. That's where everything blew up. And since then, I've just been striving to make it my full-time job. And this year, well, actually last May, I was able to go full-time as a photographer. And I photograph everything from weddings and portraits to real estate and events and all sorts of things. So <clears throat> awesome. Um, what's your favorite weddings or portraits? 
Um, I, I really like weddings just because everyone is already like dressed up and there's like, you know, it's this beautiful location and everyone's, mm -hmm. you know, dressed to the nine. And so it's just kind of like this big styled shoot that everyone is like super ready for. So I like that because you usually, there's usually some really interesting like decorations and people do some really interesting things with their color theme. So. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So um, I'm sure people know a handful of photographers. Everyone like knows one. Yeah. So what is different about working with you? So that that is a good point that you brought up that everyone knows a photographer and you know these days it's easy to get a really nice camera even just like you know your phone like it, it technology is just getting better and better every every year and everyone does know a photographer and what makes me different is I'm not just a photographer is I'm an artist and I've done this for so long and I'm so well versed in so many things that um I feel like that kind of sets me apart from the crowd and I'm just trying to differentiate myself more and more and more every year and so I'm trying to get more into video and doing more advertising and doing more promotional material and um, I don't know I think it just makes me a little bit different because I've done so many things so early on in my life that it gives me so much time to keep growing that you know I'm 23 and I've been doing it since I was 13 so um, I have so much time still to learn everything that I need to know Yes. And you also travel. I do. Right? Yeah, I do travel. I, um, I do a ton of stuff. Well, so I'm local to Fort Collins, but a lot of my work is in like the Denver area or in the Rocky Mountains. Like mm -hmm. I think next weekend I'm going to Buena Vista for a wedding. And then, um, I actually photographed, um, an engagement like proposal in Belize in December. And then I'm also heading to do a wedding in the Bahamas in June, which will be a ton of fun. So, um, I eventually want to do a little bit more travel destination things. Um, as time goes on, I think it would be an interesting way to fill my time. I like to travel. So I've been kind of all over the world. And I just want to keep going because I like to photograph people. And so I like to photograph the places I've been, but I'd rather there be a subject than just a building. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, so out of all the years you've been doing this, do you have a favorite shoot that you've done or favorite wedding? It's like featured? Um, on your website. Yes. So actually, so one of my favorite venues in the whole world, it's called the Lions Farmette. And it's just this big garden farm area. They have greenhouses and the bride gets ready in like an airstream. And it's just this very like boho type venue. And then everything's outdoors and it's like right by a river. And it's really beautiful. And um, it has string lights everywhere. And I photographed this wedding for a couple named Dana and Nick in... June end of June and um this wedding was perfect like everything was gorgeous all the flowers and the bouquet and the centerpieces were made from the gardens at the farmette I think oh, I thought it was really beautiful wow. and there was just like these big kind of like wild bouquets and they weren't like super clean you know they were like the fascinating ones mm -hmm. and um the bride was just gorgeous and they were the they were just like one of those couples that was just like cat likes to have fun together <laughs> and like you can just tell like they're good to good together you know they're, they weren't weird or awkward about it and they were just so down for all kinds of photos and that wedding is actually getting published a lot lately and so that one is actually going to be one that's going to be published in Zola um, wow. I don't know if you if you know what that is but it's getting published in Zola and it's been published in like three or four other publications over the past two months so that's been really exciting wow that's that is exciting yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so you are all over the place, but where can people connect with you and find you and book you for a shoot? Um, so yeah, I'm on Facebook and Instagram. Um, and then I have, and I post all of my stuff on there. I also have a Pinterest account and then my website is linked mm -hmm. through all of those, um, sites and, uh, that has all my contact info and like, I, you can email me and or call me I'm like one of those people I don't mind I don't mind talking on the phone you know I'm cool with it and I and I feel like usually if someone contacts me I like to have a phone call just so I can like formally introduce myself and it's just easier to explain the process and like what to expect and like what you're getting with everything so I like to talk on the phone but not everybody does yeah so um I have I'm already married and <laughs> we did that yeah. a few years ago and it was really hard to find a photographer and like know what questions to ask and what to look for. So yeah. 
like what I don't know like people who are getting married like how do they decide <laughs> and and that's like another problem is the market is like extremely saturated because there is such mm -hmm. an influx of photographers in this in this day and age so um I always suggest like I mean word of mouth is huge you know if you if you had a friend that got married and they had a really amazing experience you know maybe you know have I talked to them and I would suggest like not just picking one and going with it um a lot of photographers offer free consultations like I do or they're more than happy to talk on the phone and like you can kind of get a feel for their personality because I think it's really important to mesh well with your photographer because honestly you're going to spend more time with me than you will with your fiance <laughs> on the wedding day so yeah. like especially the bride so um I would definitely check out multiple people that like you know check out their websites see if you like their work if it fits with your style I'm one of the styles that's very true to color like a timeless look I don't do a whole lot of like crazy editing or colors on on my images I like to keep it the way that the day was um mm -hmm. so that's what I'm doing for my style and everyone's different so and everyone likes something different so check out places that you like your where who has a style that you like and talk to them on the phone see what their packages are you know see where your budget's at with everything because I mean it does come down to that at some point um right and then I, I think meeting them in person is a big deal um because like mm -hmm. I said, you're going to spend a lot of time with me. And if you, and if we don't click, then, you know, it, it may not be as easy of a day, but I find that I click with a lot of people just because I'm kind of a, <laughs> I'm a little all over the place. Like I love to talk and have fun and I'm not super like stiff and I, I don't do a whole lot of posing. I like the, just kind of like go with the flow and like, let's do something fun and creative. And I like to, I like to get creative with my images as well. So I'm not just a traditional photographer I like to be an artist as well so awesome yeah I definitely spent a lot of time with my photographer like hours and hours and hours yeah and yeah you're gonna spend a lot of time with them on the phone they're gonna help you with your timeline they're gonna help you you know with everything and then once you get there it's like you're there with your bridesmaids or your girls and your mom and me and so <laughs> I'm gonna be there through the whole thing you know like it's it's important to be comfortable um, through that process. And then, you know, I'll go and spend some time with the guys as they get ready, but they're really just drinking usually. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I feel like we have all the groomsmen of like beer bottles, whiskey, and just like hanging out playing cards. And all the yeah. girls are like, there's 10 times more photos of us. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Cause I mean, the guys are, yeah, that's literally all they're doing. I have so many photos from like each wedding that I've done where there's always like a bottle of Jack involved or they're all doing shots <laughs> or like beers, like shotgunning. It's in five minutes away from ceremony, they're putting on their stuff. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> totally. <laughs> uh, so how else can we support you and like, where, where can we find you around <clears throat> town to help you? Um, so like I said, I am, oh, I am local to Fort Collins, but, um, and a lot of my work is in Denver, but I am, I travel everywhere, so you can kind of, we can figure out something anywhere in Colorado. Colorado is beautiful, so um, there's so many places that I'd like to explore uh, that I haven't got a chance just because, like, you know, it's not close to home or whatever, and so you can find me on all of those social media outlets, um, and then we can kind of go from there, and I'm willing to travel the world, so, you know, find me, <laughs> find me anywhere you want. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> um, and any. Any other, like, big events happening in your business this year or um, big things coming up? So on, in, in the beginning of April, I'm actually holding a, a styled shoot. Um, so I'm doing a basically like a mock wedding shoot, and I'm getting to know a bunch of vendors through it. So I got a model, or I got two models, a bride and a groom, and, like, we have their full attire, you know, dress and, and suit and all of that. And then I, I got a florist, hair and makeup. Uh, videographer. Um, we found a furniture rental company that's going to give us some really amazing um, vintage furniture for the shoot. And um, we're having a, um, an older Cadillac, like a really old vintage Cadillac come up and like we're going to pose with the Cadillac. And it's on this horse property um, in Loveland. And so we're going to have like flower crowns for the horses and garlands and it's going to be like the cutest thing. And so I'm doing that, which is extremely exciting, um, getting all these vendors together to like you know, donate their time and donate their services in exchange for like some awesome photos that everyone can use for their marketing and such. So um, I'm excited to make some like really fun stuff with that because, you know, if I had the choice of having something in a wedding, I w I'm going to put all those elements in it. So mm -hmm. 
Oh my gosh, that sounds so fun. I love I'm it. excited. Yeah, it's a lot of work, but I think next time I do a style shoot, I'll hire a, a wedding planner and coordinator to help me with everything. But it's it's a lot of fun so far. So cool. Well, that all sounds super exciting, and. Um, I will leave your information in the comments or if you want to leave your information in the comments yeah. so that people can find yeah. you yeah. Facebook, Instagram, yeah. website, and all that awesome. good stuff. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah. Um, and this is just my last question for you. You're a young, successful photographer and entrepreneur. Um, what do you feel like is the one thing that has really helped you get to this level? Um, you know, I've been... I've just known what I want and that's it. You know what I mean? I've just known that I've loved this so early that it just kind of gave me that head start. You know, a lot of people are getting into this, you know, as they get through college and I've already, I've already gone through all that so early that I feel like I'm a little bit ahead of the game. And so I feel like that's, what's really helped kickstart everything. And um, even though I am young, like, I think that I'm doing well because I care so much about it and I'm so passionate about it that it doesn't matter like how old you are, how long have you been doing it? You know, if if it's something that you love, like you're going to, you're going to excel at it and you're going to spend as much time as you can. Like I said, I always said that like, if I don't put all these hours into it and I don't treat it like a full-time job, it never will be a full-time job. And so I just try and put as much of my time and energy in it. Even when I don't have anything to do, I find something that I can put into it. So that's awesome. That's really good advice. I love it. All right. Well, thank you so much for taking some time out of your day yeah, of and doing your fa- your first Facebook yes, live. Yes, this is interview. my first one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> well, I'm really excited to see uh, your future shoots and I'm sure you'll be posting it all over social media. So Yeah, I'm very excited. I'm I got a couple of really big things going this year. I'm hoping to also do a style shoot in Carbondale. So that'll be a fun one too. Oh, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, good luck. And I'm so excited that um, you're doing big things. Me too. Thank you so much for having me. Yes. Thank you. Have a great week. You too. <laughs> Bye. Bye.